Hello dear viewers. From this video you will learn interesting details about the last 30 years of Mahidevran Sultan's life. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to the channel not to miss other interesting videos. The history of the Ottoman Empire, as far as its individual personalities are concerned, even if very famous and significant, is very confusing. The fact is that the life history of women was not recorded. So the origin of Mahidevran is not known. Mahidevran, like Shazada Mustafa, was very beloved by the people. She was known as a true Muslim, who could sing and embroider well, and was a real beauty. She carefully protected Shekzade Mustafa not only in her childhood but also in her adult years. She devoted her whole life to him. After the execution of Shazada Mustafa, Mahadevan was deprived of everything, the palace in Amasya, servants, wages. Shazada Mustafa was left with two daughters, six-year-old Shah Sultan and seventeen-year-old Nergisha. The latter was married off by the Sultan immediately after this event. But what happened to the younger daughter is not known. She either went with Mahidevran to exile in Bursa, but, more likely, went to the Sultan's harem, where she was until her marriage. It is known that Mahidevran lived in Bursa together with Rumesa, the favorite of Shekzade Mustafa. The latter also lost everything, including her title, Sultan, as her son Mehmed suffered the same fate as his father. And I came across information that Harem was involved in this. Shazada Mustafa's young son was executed so that the Janissaries would not have a reason to rebel. Although the occasion did arise, the false Mustafa. It is not uncommon for Harem to be accused of lying to Shazada Mustafa, along with Rustam Pasha. I read and listened to modern Turkish historians. Well, they agree that their arguments had no meaningful effect on Sultan Suleiman. At least, they were not the reason for his decision. The fact is that a coup d'etat was already brewing. Many Janissaries wanted to see Mustafa as head of state. And so they themselves chose the fate of their lord. There is no clear evidence that Mustafa wanted to take the Ottoman throne or betrayed his father. Said Parazad Temrukolu, Temruk, who claims to be a descendant of Mahidevran, described how and with whom she spent the last years of her life. According to him, her two sisters, Belkis and Akil, who never married, lived with her for many years. Said Parazad Temrukolu says that after the execution of Mustafa, Belkis was rude to Sultan Suleiman and sent various curses to him. Because of this, she was imprisoned at home for life. Moreover, they did not let her see either Mahidevran or Akil. She lived on one bread and water for twenty years, until the end of life. Akil lived together with Mahidevran, but according to the same descendant, she died before her. Also said Parazad Temrukolu tells of their brother, Mustafa Pasha, only thanks to whom the sisters did not starve, at least at first. But then, he says, Harem Sultan sent him away. How true this is is also not known, as there is information that Mahadevran's brother died much earlier, almost immediately after Ibrahim Pasha. The historical sources say that Mahidevran had huge debts for food, clothes, rent. And it is said that to this extent Mahadevran's plight was because of Harem. After the latter's death, Mahadevran's debts were paid off. Such is the people's love. No one helped the unhappy woman. She became a real outcast. Only Harem's son Selim, when he became Sultan, remembered Mahidevran, gave her a high allowance as a widow, bought her a house and paid off all her debts.